You know, each month we're excited to be able to share with you a little bit of Wabash Valley history. It's a new segment brought to you by John Harvester, your local Allstate agent. And this month, we decided we were going to dig a little bit more into the history of the Coca-Cola bottle and how Terre Haute became its birthplace. The Coca-Cola bottle, its shape is unmistakable. Its Terre Haute history is undeniable. Terre Haute is the birthplace of the Coca-Cola bottle. It was designed right here in Terre Haute at the Root Glass Company in 1915. Coca-Cola put that challenge out to um, bottle manufacturers around the country and the Root Glass Company responded to that challenge. And the reason for the shape is that when Earl Dean went to the Emmeline Fairbanks Library to do some research, thinking he might be able to find some information on coca or cola, um, what he found was a cocoa pod in the encyclopedia. And he designed the bottle around that shape of the cocoa pod. One of the interesting facts about the Coke bottle is that when the first design went out for the competition, it was a wider bottle. Uh, more, more along the shape of an actual cocoa pod. And that was the design that really got Coca-Cola excited. However, they did have some critique for that bottle because it was a little too wide and it would be wobbly on the bottling line. So they went back to the root glass company and said, we love the design, can you slim it down a little? The Coca-Cola company was looking for the unique design to make their product stand out from the competition. Back in 1915, Coca-Cola was getting tired of knockoffs for their, for their uh, product. So they thought if they had a distinctive bottle that no one else could match, no one else could use, that people would know they had a Coca-Cola. I'm not sure that anybody realized in 1915 just what that was going to be because Coca-Cola wasn't as big as it is now. So through the years it became a, a big deal that you know, you'd recognize that Coke bottle all around the world. For several years we've been receiving visitors from around the world actually who came to our old museum location to see the information we had on the birthplace of the Coke bottle. So now with, with the mural outside of our building and with the Coke bottle sculptures all around town, we're getting more and more interest in it and actually seeing a real pride in the community among the people who live here that, wow, we really are the birthplace of the Coke bottle and that's a big deal. And in Terre Haute, the recognition and the history draws people in. Now we want to see your ideas and photos relating to Wabash Valley history. You can visit our website at mywabashvalley.com and under our community tab, look for the Wabash Valley history section. We do look forward to bringing you stories and memories each and every month.